In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a B progress hood, a spinning activity indicator to your Swift project. MB progress hood is a very interesting project. It works very stable and it's very flexible. For example, you can have an activity indicator uh, looking like this with no title label or no details uh, below and like this, for example, with the nice title loading or you can have something um, like this, uh, the title and then detail text loading, like uploading a data or please wait. And um, it's pretty flexible. You can have something uh, looking like this, for example. Uh, so this is a very interesting project, but uh, unfortunately at this time it is uh, only available as an objective C. And uh, because we're learning Swift, I'm going to show you how to add this um, very nice project into your uh, Swift project. Uh, to begin with, you can go ahead and download it. If you look at, look for it on GitHub, it's called MB Project Hood, Progress Hood. So once you find it, you can download entire zip file by clicking on this download zip uh, button. I have already downloaded and I have it on my uh, desktop. Okay, so the, once you download it, open your, um, like I have it on my desktop, uh, it will be, once you download it, it, it will be a zip file. Double click on it to expand and uh, to unzip. And then uh, it's an entire uh, Xcode project in Objective-C. And you're looking for these two files uh, implementation had a file uh, to integrate them to your uh, Swift project. So I will minimize this and I will open my Xcode and I will create a new project, iOS application, single view application, and I'll call it my MB progress hood example, something like this. Uh, create. Okay, we have a new project and uh, let's um, integrate and be progress hood uh, right away. So you need these two files, um, M and H, drag them into your project and make sure you have uh, copy items if needed um, checked. Once you hit finish, you will get this um, dialog asking would you like to configure an Objective-C bridging header. Uh, click yes for this. You need it and once you do Xcode will create a new file here which is called bridging header. Um, it will have name of your project and then it's bridging header uh, H and if for some reason uh, you did not get that dialog uh, window it might be that you have already uh, integrated uh, Objective-C into your uh, Swift project earlier. So look for bridging header file or create one manually. And here you will need to import um, the MB progress hood header file. MB progress hood header file, the one we've just uh, dragged and dropped into our project. So once you do it, your uh, Swift project will be aware of these two uh, Objective-C files. So let's go ahead into main storyboard now and we will create a couple of um, buttons here. So I will minimize it to um, iPhone 4 and I will grab a couple of buttons. Uh, one for, I'll call it start loading and I will copy and paste it and call it stop loading stop loading so once I tap on start loading I want um, spinning activity to uh, start and once I click on stop loading, I want spinning activity to stop. I will um, open assistant editor. This is my view controller and this is the Swift file class. 
uh, responsible for this view controller and I will create two um, outlets connection type is action and I will call it start button tapped so when start button tapped this function will be triggered and for the stop one when user taps on stop button the connection type is action and I'll call it stop button tapped very good um, so now we are ready to um, um, instantiate the MB progress hood activity indicator and there are a couple of ways to do it and um, the probably the the most standard way is as this you say let um, spinning activity equals and then you go MB progress will it Oops, MB, MB progress. Does an other suggest, for example, for some reason, hood? Uh, let's see if we don't have any build errors. We have Y. Oh, MB progress hoop. All oh, right, not found. I made a typo in my um, here. It should be hood. Now, if we build it, yes, I think it's working. Okay, so let's go back to view controller. Uh, I'll go back to storyboard, expand. Let's go back to our start button tapped and we tapped MB progress hood dot and here I can choose one of the uh, functions I want uh, to call and we are interested in function show hood here we will need to um, pass on our view and for animate it will say yes I meant true in the case of uh, Swift um, and basically this is it so this one should This one should start our activity indicator. So let's run it uh, as uh, an iPhone 5 project and see how it works. Okay, so it started circling and um, the activity indicator is model so it will block user interaction and user won't be able to do anything and, and, until it stops. So let's go ahead and customize it a little bit. So uh, what I can do next, I can add it, uh, for example, a label text. I'll call spinning, spinning activity. Uh, label, I can take change label color, label font, and I want to set label text, something like loading. And spinning activity details label text equals please wait let's see how it looks okay so if I start on um, if I start now, it looks very different and it's very informative. We are telling our users, please wait, we are loading uh, something. Okay, so uh, now, uh, and it's still um, a blocking um, activity indicator. It blocks user interaction and I cannot tap anything. So let's implement the, the stop button uh, to um, make our activity indicator listen uh, to user tabs there's a, um, a property called user interaction enabled and here we need to set it to false it's a little bit counterintuitive to me I would assume I need to set it to true but uh, it's you need to set it to false for it to work 
So uh, now when um, activity indicator is spinning, I can tap on stop button. You see it's reacting. So um, I will um, go to my stop button uh, tap function and here um, this is, we have instantiated activity indicator and we have assigned it to spinning activity variable. Um, and um, because it is in the scope of this function, I don't have it available in this function, but um, MB progress hood allows you to actually stop all activity indicators that you have created with MB progress hood from anywhere else in your uh, view controller. And you can do it with just calling MB progress hood and then hide hide all and then you pass it the view and animate it through okay now if I run it start loading stop loading see it works well, uh, in uh, a real uh, life project, uh, we don't really stop activity indicator by tapping on stop button. Activity, activity indicator disappears once our background job stopped uh, working. For example, we display activity indicator when we upload an image or we when we communicate with the server side and we load some data in and it takes a few seconds. And while this background task is working, we want users to see activity indicator. And um, once the job is completed, we want activity indicator to stop and disappear. So um, this is the way you do it. I will um, uncomment, I mean, I'm comment out uh, interaction enabled. And normally background, when you work with background tasks, you need um, to run it in like separate thread. Um, and um, you need to uh, dispatch. I keep on making typos today. Dispatch async. And again, dispatch get global queue. Looks like I made a typo again. I spilled it. Yeah, somewhere a typo. I'm resolving the fire dispatch. Oh my god, dispatch. I think. Okay, good. So dispatch is saying dispatch global queue. And here, once we have created a background task, we can start, uh, we can um, run some background uh, tasks. And once background task is complete, um, normally uh, when you need to uh, update your UI, you will need to dispatch another um, asynchronous task uh, on the main queue. So um, and we do dispatch async and here we say uh, dispatch get main queue. And uh, inside of the main queue we can hide the spinning activity. So we have it um, here. I say spinning activity, hide animated throne. 
so and um, inside of this blog you can um, update your UI so once the job is completed spinning activity will uh, stop and will hide away so let's run this and see how it works I tap on start it starts and it hides away right away because we don't have any background tasks so here uh, if I had an HTTP request or if I start uploading or downloading something from uh, the internet it will take some time but once the code uh, that goes before dispatch async is completed um, this will be triggered and spinning activity will stop and hide away I think this is it for this video. Um, I hope it will work for you. Uh, it's an amazing project. And um, let me know if for some reason it uh, does not. And I'll do my best to help you out as soon as I can.